All right. Hey, everybody. I'm Suzanne Gunderson from Transform Connections. I'm here to share uh, neuroenergy tapping with you all today. I'm joined by Shana Feingold, who has volunteered to be a part of this wonderful process of uh, transformation. So I know, Shana, before we hit the record button, you said you had something going on in your life that is uh, kind of bothersome and stressful for you. So um, uh, I want to just invite you to think about that story right now, and we're not going to have you talk about it initially. I just want you to notice how it bothers you, all the pieces of it, all the little branches of the storyline that are involved with it. And that's always mm -hmm. step number one of tapping is to notice what bothers you and how it bothers you. And then step number two is to give that experience that you're having an intensity number on a scale of zero to 10. And zero means it doesn't bother you and 10 means it really bothers you. What number would you say you have it at right now? Probably a six or seven. Mm -hmm. Okay, step number three is to go to the worst part of it, the part that stands out the most, the part you say, oh gosh, this is the part I'm really just, I don't like, I'm concerned about, I'm just not happy about. Go to that part, real or imagined. Projected or in the past doesn't matter. And then step number four is we're going to tap while you're there. So just hold on to that thing, whatever that is, right? And then just start tapping between your eyes. Repeat out loud after me and say, I release and let go. I release and let go. All sadness. All sadness. All fears. All fears. All emotional traumas. All emotional traumas. And then tap on the side of the eye. I release hopelessness. I release hopelessness. Helplessness. Helplessness. Abandonments. Abandonments. Betrayals. Betrayals. And then tap under the eye. All the hurt and pain. All the hurt and pain. The out of control feelings. The out of control feelings. Every emotional aspect. Every emotional aspect. I just let it go. I just let it go. And then tap on your collar. And if I'm struggling. If I'm struggling. There is something I'm missing. There is something I'm missing. I'm not seeing the full picture. I'm not hearing the full, the full sound. I'm not hearing the full sound. And I'm hanging on to feelings. I'm hanging on to feelings. And I'm willing to let it all go. And I'm willing to let it all go. Yeah, and tap between your eyes again. This story. This story. That's stressing me out. It's stressing me out. Everyone that's involved. Everyone that's involved. What they said. What they said. What they didn't say. What they didn't say. Every piece of it. Every piece of it. My involvement with it. My involvement with it. I just let it go. I just let it go. And then tap on the side of the eye. This story. This story. That's stressing me out. It's stressing me out. All my worries. All my worries. Just letting it go. Just letting it go. And tap under the eye. There's something I'm missing. There's something I'm missing. Something I'm misunderstanding. Something I'm misunderstanding. There's more to see. There's more to see. More to hear. More to hear. More to know. More to know. And I'm letting it all go. And then tap on your collarbone. This thing that was stressing me out. This thing that was stressing me out. Freeing it from every cell of my body. Freeing it from every cell of my body. No matter where it came from. No matter where. It or came what from. it means. Or what it means. Just letting it go. Just letting it go. And then grab your wrist and squeeze it. Take a nice breath. Blow it out. Say the word clear. Yeah. Wonderful. Now in your mind, could you just go to a wonderful memory? Just something easy, fun, a nice experience, something that feels good. And then just step into your body in that wonderful memory. Can you find something good? Mm -hmm. Can you be in your body? Mm -hmm. Yeah. How good does it feel on a scale of zero to 10? Yeah, seven. Okay, go to the best part. What's the best part of it? How do you know it's great at a seven? Go to the best part. Put all your focus and awareness on it. Feel really good. Be in your body and then just tap between your eyes and say, it's good to feel good. It's good to feel good. I'm allowed to feel good. I'm allowed to feel good. This is a natural state. This is a natural state. Tap on the side of the eye. It's easy to feel this good. Easy to feel this good. I hold this good feeling inside of me. I hold this feeling inside of me. I create this good feeling. I create this good feeling. Like I create all things. Like I create all things. 
And tap under the eye. And this is a good thing. This is a good thing. And it feels really good. It feels really it's good. It's good to feel good. It's good to feel good. And then tap on your collarbones. All mine. All mine. This wonderful feeling. This wonderful feeling. Have it anytime I want. Have it anytime I want. And then grab your wrist and squeeze it. Take a nice breath. Blow it out. Say the word peace. Peace. Okay. And now, great. Go back to that story. And tell me, is it the same seven intensity? Is it, is it the same? No, it's like a four. Okay. Well, notice whatever stands out. How you still know it's a four, right? Right? And just start tapping between your eyes. I'm so worried. I'm so worried. Every emotional aspect. Every emotional aspect. The stress. The stress. The out of control feelings. The out of control feelings. The unknown. The unknown. Tap on the side of the eye. Just let it go. Just let it go. Every piece of it. Every piece of it. The ones I think I understand. The ones I think I understand. And the other ones too. And the other ones too. And tap under the eye. My point of view about this. My point of view about this. My focus. My focus. Just loosening it up. Just loosening it up. And letting it move through me now. And letting it move through me now. And then tap on your collarbone. That story. That story. Calming everything down now. Calming everything down now. There's more to know that I don't see yet. There's more to know that I don't see yet. There's more to know that I can hear yet. There's more to know than I can hear yet. But I'm opening up all the pathways. I'm opening up all the pathways. So I can experience it differently. So I can experience it differently. And then grab your wrist and squeeze it. Take a nice breath. Blow it out. Say the word clear. Clear. <clears throat> Great. And now go to that other good memory. Just go visit it for a second. The one that you liked and just be in your body. It's a nice little smile I see when you do that. And then just grab your wrist a couple of times while you're there on that nice memory and just say the word peace and just breathe. Nice. Then go back to your story again. The thing that was bothering you. Mm -hmm. And what stands out? Typically at this point, you'll actually really narrow down into like, oh, I know exactly what bothers me the most. It's this part of it. It's this thing. Because as we're tapping, we start to kind of clear the clutter to be able to get closer and closer to the root of what it is that's actually really holding this together. It's interesting because the thing that's coming to me isn't so much the thing, it's more of like this hopeful feeling that like, okay, maybe it's like there is possibility here and that mm -hmm. I've been focusing on this negative piece of it and there's really, there's something more positive. Yes. I yes. don't know if that's Yay, like, that's great. That's great. Yeah, I mean when you're in your tornado of stress, all you can you have just that tunnel vision. Like we put the blinders on and all you can do is just see what you see and hear what you hear. But there's yeah. a whole other world out there. It's like go turn the light on if you're in a dark room. Oh, there's so much more I can see now. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. So great. So you kind of like, you know, expanded it more than it honed in. So. Right, 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 right. So let's latch onto that. So just notice that part that's a little bit hopeful right? Mm -hmm. And then just tap between your eyes and say, I'm so sorry that I've been torturing myself. I'm so sorry that I've been torturing myself. There's other ways to know this story. There's other ways to know this story. They're going to give me what I want. They're going to give they're gonna me make me feel really good. They're going to make me feel really good. And then tap on the side of the eye, but I was focused in one way. I was focused in one way. Until I let it go. Until I let it go. And I opened the door. And I opened the door. To other ways to experience this story. To, to other ways I, I can experience this story. Mm, tap under the eye so that I can feel better about it. So I can feel better about it. And I can open new pathways. And I can open new pathways. That feel better. That feel better. That give me the result that, I look, that I'm looking for. That give me the result that I'm looking for. And then tap on your collar. When that old pathway. That old pathway. That had me leading towards stress. Let me lead into towards stress. And just let it go. Just let it go. Safe to let it go. Safe to let it go. Excited for my hopeful new story. Excited for my hopeful new story. Okay, grab your wrist and squeeze it. Take a nice breath. Blow it out. Say peace. Peace. Really good. Yeah, so that's kind of how we do it is, you know, when you're just so stuck on one point of view, it's like we're just like 
tight in this, in this, in this part of our, our, our mind and our body. And we go right to it. Oh, this thing I don't like. We start to like wiggle it free a little bit. And then it begins to start to integrate with the rest of the energy body. We're never, ever really letting anything go. We're just integrating it through us in a whole new, in a new way. That way we can start to see more and hear more and experience more. And that way we're not just so stuck on it. And yeah. So it's at this point, I would say, you know, invite any of those hopeful thoughts to be where you think and where you go in your mind when you think about this story. And so just feel the relief and the peace in that. Start to envision it differently. And this is where we wanna create a new vision of it. So whatever it is that you, um, have this as a story, what do you need to insert into it in order to make it be sitting within you <coughs> there at a place of peace and, and being okay and even good? What's now going to happen? So insert some things into it, into the story. Maybe it's some other resources. Maybe it's things that you need to hear. Maybe it's a circumstance of some kind. Whatever it is, just insert it into that story now because mm -hmm. real or imagined the body's still going to react the same way so just give yourself what it is that you need you couldn't before because you were so stuck on it with the facts of what you believe to be the truth but now you're like oh there's hope i can think differently so give yourself whatever it is that you may need to see it differently any resistance to doing that i mean i have the hopeful piece um, it's just trying to figure out, like, I have one resource that I thought about. Mm -hmm. um, well, don't make it too, too specific, specific with some specific person. Just put a resource in there. There will yeah. be this thing that you need there. That I need there. Yeah. yeah. And make it a little easier. Like we got to just baby steps. Yeah. Know? So if you needed something, then just give it to yourself and have it be there. Maybe not with some specific name or thing that you're putting in there. Right, so just a more general. Yeah, be general about it. Yeah. And how does that feel with that, that thing in the story now? It helps. I mean, it helps get too hopeful. Mm -hmm. we'll I mean, there's yourself. always that part of me that's still like, but then there's all this, but. Yeah. Or is that still hopeful mm -hmm. and helpful? Yeah, just start tapping right now. I'm still stuck on reality. I'm still stuck on reality. And all the facts that I believe are true. And all the facts that I believe are true. I'm limiting my hope. I'm limiting my hope. To the one practical thing that I know. The one practical thing that I know. That might not even work out. That might not even work out. Tap on the side there. Maybe this is how I do this. Maybe this is how I do Maybe it. this is just how I'm doing it now. Maybe it's just how I'm doing it now. And tap under the eye. I'm learning and growing how to be more hopeful. I'm learning and growing how to be more hopeful. There's more resources out there. There's more resources out there. And they all want to come my way. They all want to come my way. So I'm going to put the stop sign down. I'm going to put the stop sign down. And invite every one of them. I invite every one of To them. come closer to me. Come closer to me. And tap on your collarbone so I can receive whatever it is that I need receive whatever it is that I need to have this be a good story <coughs> to have this be a good story eventually a great story eventually a great story eventually the best story eventually the best story clearing anything in the way of doing that clearing any anything in the way of doing that and then grab your wrist and squeeze it take a nice breath throw it out <sighs> say peace peace yeah. Now we have to just keep acknowledging any resistance and tap and clear it and then building the pathways to hope. I definitely feel even more hopeful. Like there is that like positive. Yeah. Something. So you couldn't, you, 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 didn't even, you weren't even hopeful about it at all when we first started. You didn't even think there was a possibility of that. And right. so we loosen your grip on the old story and then we like open up a door and then there's a little bit of hope and now the hope is growing and growing and growing. Yeah. Yeah. That was good. Any questions? No.
How do you feel now? Just hopeful. Yeah. I mean, there's still some of that residual left, but it's overall like brighter. I feel brighter. I don't know if that names or anything, but yeah. That's great. That's great. Also that dark cloud. Mm -hmm. Oh, so what's, what's the residual dark cloud? Is it still there? Um, I would give it like a one, mm -hmm. like maybe there's a little something just cause it's like, things can't be too good. Cause you oh, just always yeah. have to keep that like. Yeah. All right. Well, just, no just notice that one, right? Yeah. right? And just tap between your eyes. It's still there. It's still there. I haven't let it go. I haven't let it go. Who would I be if I let it go? would I be if I let it go? This is how I know how to think. This is how I know how to think. This is my story. This is my story. I can't let this go. I can't let this go. Tap on the side of the eye. Don't make me let it go. Don't make me let it go. That little piece. That little piece. That little piece of the dark cloud. That little piece of the dark cloud. Can't let it go. Can't let it go. I know what it looks like. I know what it, looks I know like. what it sounds like. I know what it sounds like. Don't make me let it go. Don't make me let it go. Tap under the eye. I'm creating it. I'm creating Seems it. Seems practical. Seems practical. I have a lot of reasons for it. I have a lot of reasons for it. Makes sense to me. Makes sense to me. Tap on your collarbone, but I'm letting it go anyway. I'm letting it go anyway. I need to be hopeful. I need to be hopeful. I am hopeful. I am hopeful. Growing more and more in hope. Growing more and more in hope. Sending those dark clouds away. Sending those dark clouds away. So I can see the blue skies. I can see the blue skies. Of my hope. Of my hope. In this entire story. In this entire story. It's a sunny day. It's a sunny day. All around. All around. And then grab your wrist, squeeze it, take a nice breath, blow it out, say peace. Peace. Go to your happy memory, that wonderful thing. Just be there for a second. Fill your whole body with it from tip to toe. Squeeze your wrist a couple times. Just say the word peace. Peace. Mm -hmm. Peace. So how are you doing now? Yeah, I mean, it, there's like, there is a peace and calming part to it now. That there's, you know. So every time you think about this story, I want you to <coughs> go to the best part of the hope, the best part of hope. What does that look like? What does it sound like? What does it feel like? I want you to be in a movie theater right now and you're watching this story as it's come out through all of the hope and, and all of the new resources and everything else. It's the best movie you could watch. Put it up on the screen, look at it, hear it, feel it. Sit there, eat your popcorn, whatever you want to do. Like, this is awesome. <laughs> it totally turned around. Can you see that? And just give that little movie title clip for yourself. And maybe even take a snapshot in your mind of what that looks like, what it sounds like, what it feels like. And every time you go to the story in your mind, I want you to go see this. Go be in the movie theater and go watch this version of it. Yeah. And then you'll notice while you're in this movie theater that there's a movie theater just on the other side of your mind. That's a black and white movie theater. It's very small. It's where the old story lives. And so I want you to, in your mind, just kind of drag and drop this brilliant, bright, colorful motion picture size movie theater over on top of that small one and watch that small, older story just get smaller and smaller and smaller. Just do this in your mind a million times. Just drag and drop that good story onto the bad one until that bad one just that old one just kind of just falls away to dust it's just not there anymore yeah i see that it it does feel even before you even said that it was like that storyline just it's gone it's over seems history it's like i'm watching a history movie not a yeah exactly history. wonderful yeah so just keep dragging and dropping that good story over into the onto the bad one, onto the old one. Not that it was bad, it's just not there anymore and not useful. So until it just falls away like dust and then just notice it like a little dust pile on the floor and just, just blow it away from you. 
It's not there. All you can do is just be in your awesome movie theater with the best hopeful version of this story. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, you did really great. Thank you so much for yeah, participating in this. And, uh, and thanks everybody for watching. And I look forward to reading your comments or questions below. Take care, everyone.